have on okay our god is an awesome god he never sleeps he never slumbers he's always watching over us every second of our life so let's sing the song he never sleeps when you pray we pray that you know how to pray just remember god will hear it and the answer is on its way our god is able he is mighty he is faithful He never sleeps, he never slumbers, he never tires of hearing your prayers. When we are weak, he becomes stronger. So rest in his love and cast all of your cares on him. Do you feel that the Lord has forgotten your needs? Just remember the Lord is always working in ways you cannot see. Our God is able. He is mighty. He is faithful. He never sleeps. He never slumbers. He never tires of hearing your prayers. When we are weak, he becomes stronger. So rest in his love and cast all of your cares on him. Hello part and part and Sophia Let's sing the next Virya my word Hello Telugu part part and Let them sing vallu prepare ayaru chaala mandi telugu raadu vachina vala deentlo Hindi Okay The word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path The to my feet and a light unto my path when i feel afraid i think of lost my way still you're there right beside me nothing will i fear as long as you are near please be near me till the end die word is a lamp to my feet and a light unto my path thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path i will not forget your love for me and yet my heart forever is wandering jesus be my guide and hold me to your side and i will love you till the end thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path and a light unto my path let's sing the next song the steadfast love of the lord never ceases the steadfast love of the lord never ceases his mercies never come to an end they are new every morning new every morning Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord. Great is thy faithfulness. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning, new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord. Great is thy faithfulness. Our God is a merciful God. He never leaves us nor forsakes us. Let us sing the song, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. With my mouth will I make known the faithfulness, the faithfulness. Oh. <laughs> make known the faithfulness to all generations. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing. I will sing. 
हिंदी सॉन्ग यशु मसीह तेरे जैसा है कोई नहीं यशु मसीह तेरे जैसा है कोई नहीं तेरे चरणों में झुके आसमान और महिमा जमीन यशु मसीह तेरे जैसा है कोई नहीं तेरे चरणों में झुके आसमान और महिमा गाए जमी हम गाए ओ साना तू राजाओं का है राजा तेरी महिमा हो सदा तू है प्रभु हमारा खुदा प्यारे पिता तूने हमसे कितना प्यार किया हमें पापों से चुराने को अपने बेटे को कुर्बान किया प्यारे पिता तूने हमसे कितना प्यार किया हमें पापों से चुराने को अपने बेटे को कुर्बान किया हम गाए हो साना तू राजाओं का है राजा तेरी महिमा हो सदा तू है प्रभु हमारा खुदा तू है प्रभु हमारा खुदा थैंक यू Thank you, Sophia, Lydia. A lot of friends are joining, but I don't know. There is some problem with the Zoom today. Yadagiri, Chakri, and some others are on the way, but the Zoom is not accepting. But anyway, we cannot go back and come back again. We continue. Let's worship the Lord. Let's continue to worship the Lord. The Lord is amazing. god and this this time we take time to read the word let me read psalm 91 we read psalm 91 i ask lydia to come and read lydia please come and read here psalm 91 Psalm ninety one. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust, for He will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His pinions, and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night. Nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand, a thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right side, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes, look with your eyes, and see the recompense of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High, who is my refuge. No evil shall be allowed to befall you. No plague come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion, and the serpent you will trample under foot. Because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. with long life i will satisfy him and show him salvation right the lord's word clearly says in long life i will satisfy him with long life i will satisfy him and show him my salvation let me 
assure you, the Lord will give long life to all of us because our God is a nausam God and he sends his angels to guard us. You know, the psalmist clearly says in verse 7, a thousand may fall at my side, 10,000 at my right side, but it will not come near to me today. Thousands and thousands of viruses are around us in the city and nearby our home. Who knows? Uh, tomorrow it may come near next door of our house. Even if thousands and millions of coronaviruses around us, they will not do anything to us, provided we trust in the Lord and we celebrate God's kingdom because God protects us. Because we dwell in, dwell in the presence of God. Verse 1 says, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. Because we are dwelling in the shelter of the Most High, the Lord Jesus. So the shadow of the Almighty will cover us. No, the Lord is an amazing God. He cover us and he helps us. Nothing is going to harm us. Let's praise God with this positive attitude. And today the whole world is trembling. Fear, anxiety and tension. In our teaching today, we look into the word how to tackle with the fear. And now, as an introduction, now we see how God so this God is going to help us because we have come to the shelter. What is the shelter? The most high God is our shelter. Let's worship the Lord. Take few minutes time. We had a good singing and uh, we read this word at Padivela Mandi Manapakan Pada Manke Apai Mukalu, the Kante Prabhuve Manaki Sahai Kudu, Kabata Prabhu Nimano Ujidam, Prabhu Nimano Aradam. Maybe I give time one or two of one or, one or two from us can take time and worship the Lord. Let me unmute you so that you can. Um, uh, Okay, you can unmute yourself and uh, worship the Lord. Then we get into the teaching of the word for a few more minutes. Time to you. Any one of you led by the Lord can unmute yourself and worship the Lord. Please take time. We have less time. I see Yadigirana. Can you start with you? Can you worship the Lord? Yes, yes. Yeah. In English or Telugu? <laughs> no problem. Whatever is okay. comfortable. Premagala Prabha, Krupagala Tandri, Ma Sushtu Karta, Namalli Pemichina Deva, Meeku Vandanaal Sudhulu Stotram Chalish Santanan, Pratiyanga Deva Mari, Eidhi Namuna Memu Sajeevulamuga Masustu Karta Vaina Deva Parvasivayu Na Yesu Christu Prabha Manimitam Miru Ma Papal Mid Shanti Karamayundi Devan Sanidlo Ma Karakai Vignapana Kartaga Untu Mari Prabha Uttaravadi Gauntunanda Kai Miku and then Al Chelisanan Batawara Mantay Mikrupala Mamalik Nakun Jeskani Badra Parchika Pari Nanda Kai Mikenta on the Nal Chelisunana Deva Maryoksari Ganata Mahima Prabha Mulumiko Aro Pistunamu Premagala Prabha Kurpagala Tandri me daya karana katakshamlu napai na kudumba pai ma bidala pai mari mi sangamantati pai gura unchi tandri mari ni dasuni gura ni krupala badra parchi dinamu mi vakyam dwara maman valparchan kichina krupakai kura mi kwadana chalistu jivam galai hawa tandri ma studi aradana pradana vigna prano yes sunamu nangi karin samani pradin chuir kunam tandri amen 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 is there anybody Yes. 
Yes, Anna, please. Uh, ुंबा నీ సన్నిధి తీసుకొస్తుంటాం దేవా మరి నీ యొక్క కాపుదల భద్రతను మాకు అనుగ్రహించండి మరి అందును బట్టి నేను స్తుతిస్తూ ఆరాధిస్తుంటాం దేవా మరి మాకు నీవు అటువంటి గొప్ప దేవుడు నువ్వు మాకు ఉన్నందున బట్టి నేను స్తుతిస్తూ ఆరాధిస్తూ ఈ కొద్ది నా స్తుతి ఆరాధనను యేసుక్రీస్తు నామంలో స్తుతించి ప్రార్థించి పెట్టుకుంటున్నాను మా తండ్రి ఆమెన్ ఆమెన్ I see Nirmal Brahmaya. Can you unmute and worship the Lord one minute? Prema Parshudvan Tanri, Mahonatraga Deva, Niyati Prestha Maina Ganamare Nama Ani Ki Sutlu Stotral Chelinch Kuntu Nan Tanri. Today Kal Samayin Lo Prava Ni Tani Di Kuchhe Gopa Bagya Ni Ma Kichanam Di Ke Mik Stotral Prava Nai Na. అపన మొక్కలం ప్రవాహ నైనా తండ్రి ఏ యోగ్యత లేని వారం మట్టి వంటి వారం ప్రవ్వా నీ కృప చేత మమ్మల్ని మీరు ఆవరించిన దేవుడి వైనందుకు మీ కొన్నాలు ప్రవ్వా మా చుట్టుపక్కల పరిస్థితులు చూస్తా ఉన్నప్పుడు ప్రవ్వాహ నైనా మరణ ఘోషతో అయినా ఎంతో మంది ప్రవ్వాహ ఉంటా ఉన్నప్పుడు మా పక్షాన మీరుంటూ ప్రవ్వా నా తండ్రి మాకు ప్రవ్వా అష్యూరెన్స్ ఇస్తూ ప్రవ్వా కంఫర్ట్ ని ఇస్తూ ప్రవ్వా మీరు మమ్మల్ని నడిపిస్తున్న మా గొప్ప దేవుడి వైనందుకు మీ కొన్నాలు చెల్లించుకుంటున్నా తండ్రి నైనా ఎంత నమ్మదగిన దేవుడు ప్రవ్వా నైనా ఎంత మహా కనికరం కలిగిన దేవుడి ప్రవ్వా నా తండ్రి మా జీవితాలు నైనా ఇలా ప్రవ్వా పొడిగిస్తున్నారంటే ప్రవ్వా మీ ఉద్దేశాలు ప్రవ్వా ఎంతో గొప్పవని నమ్మి నైనా మీ ఎడతలు సాగిలి పడి నమస్కరిస్తా ఉన్నాం తండ్రి మిమ్మల్ని పూజించి గనపరుస్తున్నాను తండ్రి నైనా ఉదయకాల సమయంలో మీ ప్రియబిడ్డలతో కలిసి నైనా మిమ్మల్ని ఆరాధించి మిమ్మల్ని పూజించే గొప్ప భాగ్యాన్ని నాకిచ్చినందుకే ప్రవ్వా ఏమిచ్చి మీ రుణాన్ని నేను తీర్చుకోగలను ప్రవ్వా నా జీవితంలో మీరు చేసిన అనేకమైన మేళ్ళు కొరికి ప్రత్యేకంగా తండ్రి ఆ ఆత్మీయ తండ్రి నైన నైన ఆశీర్వాదాలు అన్నిటి కొరకే ప్రవ్వా నైన మీ ఎదుటి సాగిలి పడి నమస్కరిస్తూ నైన మిమ్మల్ని గనపరుస్తూ దేశయ్యాతి శ్రేష్టమైన నామంలో మా స్థుతి ఆరాధన మీకే సమర్పించుకుంటున్నాను నా తండ్రి I am so glad you came to save us You came from heaven to earth To show the way From the earth to the cross My debts to pay From the cross to the grave From the grave to the sky Lord, I lift the name on high Lord, I lift the name on high. Father, we thank you today for giving us the joy and peace. In the midst of so much confusion around the world, we are able to experience that peace in our hearts because you have given such great, amazing peace in our hearts. We thank you. We praise you. We worship you. Lord, we fall at your feet. We prostrate ourselves at your feet and we worship you. Thank you for this wonderful day. Nothing can stop us worshiping you. No power on earth can stop us worshiping you. And today, my friends, on Zoom as well as in Facebook, we all have come together to worship you. We have all have come together to celebrate the goodness of God. We praise you, Lord. We worship you. You are an amazing God. Thank you for your goodness, Lord. We pray that you continue to bless us. As we learn your word, Spirit of God, I ask you to teach us, encourage us, motivate us. Father, you are an amazing God. You are a wonderful God. Talk to us, encourage us, and motivate us. We pray this prayer in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.
praise the Lord. God is an amazing God. He blessed us with a wonderful time of worship. And now we get into teaching of the word. And today we are in a different context. A context of fear, tension, and anxiety. Sorry, some of you may not be able to follow English, but that's fine. You can listen, you will understand, you'll grasp, because a lot of other friends are on Facebook. And some of other friends in Zoom also may not know Telugu. So this is an English worship service. We named it. Let's uh, be faithful to that. So let's stay connected with God. Staying connected with God. That's the topic today. The principle is overcoming fear. How do we stay connect with God? We connect with God when we overcome the fear, tension, and anxiety. And today the world is going through a time of fear, tension, and anxiety. It is a common syndrome and phenomena. And uh, this tension is really eating away the joy and the peace. Bhagavantudu manu kichina tu vanti agoppa anandani ee bhayam thies kelpotun. And today we see how to tackle with this fear. Fear has different forms. It comes in different forms. Anxiety, anger, depression, Frustration, powerlessness, you know, this fear takes different forms. Anxiety, anger, depression, frustration, powerlessness, you know, when we allow this fear to take seat in our bedroom and in our home, in our lives, it behaves in different ways brings anxiety, sometimes anger, depression, frustration, and powerlessness, you know. If we continue to live with this fear, we operate from powerlessness position. You know? We are called to exercise power because Jesus has given us such a great, amazing power. So fear takes away that power. My friends, keeping this in our background, let's get in to how best we can exercise God's power in our lives. Somebody is, people are joining and they're disturbing me. My focus is going that side. But anyway, let's continue. So overcoming anger and, to and toxic thinking. Overcoming anger and toxic thinking. Toxic thinking. What is toxic thinking? Sometimes when people have a lot of alcohol, they have toxic thinking. When they are, when they are in a drunkard situation, they don't know how to behave. Toxic thinking. Even people who are filled with fear, anxiety and tension, they fall into this prey of Toxic thinking. Because thinking will not be in line. They don't know how to think intellectually. Their thinking has been shattered by fear. As a result, they have this kind of toxic thinking. So read more on, more on this toxic thinking. Fear paralyzes our thinking that's the reason we need to come back to God and energize ourselves with the word of God. That's what we are doing today in this worship service. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. You know, God has given us an amazing power. And God has not given us a spirit of fear. We are conquerors. We are the children of God. We conquer the fear. 
we don't have to live under the fear. Of course, as a human beings, because of our nature, sometimes we will be afraid. That's fine. Even prophets got frightened. And there were depressive moods in God's children. That's fine. But we, need, we should not continuously live under that fear. Because fear is also a form of sin. If we continue to live, we allow the devil, the devil possesses. We have not received such fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. You know, you remember, as I said, toxic thinking, toxic mind and a sound mind. There is a lot of contrast between these two minds. And today believers are also living with this kind of toxic thinking. As a result, they don't know how to behave. And they continue to live in that fear. Sometimes people are afraid of righteous people. In the fellowship, when there is a prophet, when there is a righteous person, speak the word with the authenticity, people get frightened. Even Jesus' time, when Jesus was speaking with the authority that he received from the Heavenly Father, the Pharisees and Sadducees got frightened. Because they operated from toxic mind. They don't know what they were doing with this prophet, with this God of gods, the son of God. With that toxic mind, they tried to put him on the cross. And they succeeded in putting him on the cross with the toxic mind because they were afraid. Even today in the church, people are afraid of righteous people. There is a Pharisee Christianity growing everywhere. Pharisees and Sadducees are right here in our fellowships. They don't want good. They don't want sound mind. They want only toxic because the leaders exercise from the toxic mind. They don't know what they're doing. Why there is so much confusion in the church today? Why there are so much politics? Because they operate from toxic mind. Let's continue our teaching. God has not called us for such life. God of love and of a sound mind, you know. A prophet has a sound mind. And today God has called us to have such great sound mind. Romans chapter 8 verse 15 says, For you did not receive a spirit that makes you a slave again to fear. A slave again to fear. You know why a lot of people live under fear? Because they are slaves to that fear. As a child of God, we don't need to live under the fear. For you did not receive a spirit that makes you a slave to slave again to fear. Jesus said, the one who continues to live under sin is a slave to sin. In the same manner, the one who continues to live under fear is a slave to fear. And today many Christians are slaves to fear. All the time, tension, fear, anxiety. Not knowing what will happen. If people continue to live under that kind of slavery of sin, Fear that leads to sin, they continue to live under this toxic mind. They don't know. They cannot worship God with truth and in spirit. That's the reason God clearly said, you have not received a fear. Zip yourselves into God's word. Fear not. In computer language, when you have so many files, all these files you zip so that you can send without any trouble. Even big, big files can be sent with a zip file. So how do we encounter this fear? Zip yourself into God's word. No, we need to zip ourselves. We need to lock ourselves into God's word. When you zip yourself into God's word, you will not fear. The antidote for fear is zip yourself into God's word. Keep a lot of God's word in mind. Then you conquer fear. 
Fear is our ultimate enemy, my friends. Let me tell you, fear is our ultimate enemy. Devil comes in the form of fear. Uh, even now today, many people are having this fear, fear of losing job, fear of survival, fear of sustenance, fear brings anxiety. I said the other day in my teaching, one religious guru started walking into a village because the villagers have come and said, Guruji, in our village, thousands of people are dying. We don't know what to do. We use all the medicine, even gave the antibiotic and all the medicines also not able to help people to stop dying. People are dying. Please come and do some kind of religious ritual so that we can live. This religious guru started walking towards the village. As he come to the entrance of the village, he encountered the devil. The devil also came. The devil and the religious guru met together. And the guru asked the devil, devil, what did you do in that village? Why many people are dying? I know that you are the cause of the deaths. The devil said, yes, Guruji. I am the cause, but I have not killed anybody because I don't have a right to kill any human being. All people are dying because of the fear. I created fear and people are dying. And today the same thing happening. Even psychology says many people die out of fear, not with the disease they have. Disease can be cured with medicine and if you have that kind of positive thinking, you can survive. You're not going to die. You may behave in a different way, but ultimately you survive. God gave that mechanism in this body to survive. But many people die with fear. Fear is our ultimate enemy and an unwelcomed guest. You know, unwelcomed guest. You don't need to welcome this fear. He is an unwelcomed guest. He comes on his own. Even he push, pushes your door and he enters into your home. Even if you don't ask him to sit, he sits forever. You need to chase him out from your home. But to many operating outside the circumstances and fortress of God's word, it's a sickness without cure. It is a sickness without cure. To them, every second, every minute, and every hour is subject to the dictates of fear. Fear dictates you what to do. Why many people behave abnormally in fellowships? They behave like a beasts. They chase out the young people. They don't allow anybody to come into the leadership. It's fear. Saul, when he saw this young anointed power of God was upon him, this David, he had a jealous eye on him. He made all possible ways to kill him. Why? Because he was afraid of his position. And today, many leaders behave like beasts in the fellowship because they are afraid. They operate from toxic mind. Even why many families are cracking? Because of the fear. We need to chase out this fear from our homes. God's word has the cure. The cure to fear is believing, living, and complying with every word of God. You know, the cure to fear is believing, living, and complying with every word of God. Because word of God has the power to chase out that fear from your home. The unguessed, unwelcomed guest can be chased out from your home. If your home has the rhythm of God's word, reading God's word. In Hindu philosophical system and also Hindu religious praxis, there is a habit called chanting the mantras. The mantras is their word of God. Even they practice it. But Christian homes do not have this practice. No, we are more Western way of individual life. Because Christianity came to India from the Western context, which is more individual. Privacy. My privacy is, spirituality is my privacy. We need to learn so much from the Hindu context. Hindu, Hindu, Bhakti praxis. No, that bhakti praxis is public. 
sitting around women and men sometimes chanting the word. Where is that chanting the word in our Christian praxis? No, we don't have because our we operate as a Western man and woman. We operate as a Western Christianity, which is more private, you know, more private. No, we sit around as people of God, reading chapter by chapter, everyone chanting word of God has great power that chases away the evil from our home. We need to come back to our Hindu thinking that a praxis that help us to have the rhythm of spirituality echoes in our home. Practice it in your home. Sit around. We are doing it in our home. We sit around five of us. Each one read one chapter. Chanting the word of God has great power. God's word invalidates the fear and provides the much needed comfort and the power to encourage foes and dangers. Power to bear up under trials. Power to triumph in persecutions. Now, my friends, we need to learn so much from the Hindu bhakti praxis. We need to contextualize in our home so that we enjoy the power of God. It is more Asian. We need to be Asian followers of Christ, Indian followers of Christ. But sadly, we borrowed so much Western thinking, Western practice, Western theology, which is not so much relevant to our culture and the context. As a result, we keep on entertaining jealousy, bitterness, a kind of toxic mind in our fellowships. We need to come back to our cultural context. Jesus clearly said, peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world gives. Give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. No, Jesus clearly said, fear not. Fear is a virus, my friend. You see in the picture, like a coronavirus. Fear is like a virus. It kills Coronavirus may kill a thousands, but fear kills millions. It has been killing in the history. When pandemic situations come, many people die out of fear, not exactly with the virus. You have some medicines and you have hospitals, you have people who can help you, but fear kills you. Fear is powerful than coronavirus. Realize it. Don't allow fear. Why fear comes? When you don't come closer to God. Jesus clearly said in John's Gospel, chapter 14, verse 27, Peace I leave with you. Jesus left peace in our home. Peace in our being. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world gives. Not as the Western world gives. You know, the Western world has given a lot of fear today. Because we are accustomed to such kind of life. We destroyed our giant family system. We destroyed a lot of cultural contexts. Give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled. Let not your heart be troubled. Don't be troubled, my friends. Jesus is real. His peace is real. Neither let it be afraid. It should not make fear. No, we need to give farewell path party to fear at the end of the service. What me worry? See the picture. This fellow has a lot of smiley face on him. Why should we afraid? Why should we afraid? Why should you afraid? But our fear, power to encounter foes and dangers, power to bear up under trials, power to triumph in persecutions. What is the antidote? God's word and God's peace. Psalms 23 verse 4 says, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And now my friends, God comforts you today in this corona context. What is fear all about? What is fear? What is anxiety? Why do Christians worry? Fear Bursting Bible scriptures, alternatives to wise of 
voice of fear. Let's see. Let the infallible word of God be your source. Infallible word of God. Now God's word is infallible. The source is with here. A heart without an understanding of God, God's word is, but an empty, terrifying, waiting to be exploited by fear. Fear is one of the ruthless weapons in devil's harmony. Armoring. The Bible offers powerful alternatives to the voice of fear. The Bible repeatedly says, do not be afraid. Bible repeatedly says, do not be afraid and fear not. Natural response to the thought or appearance of danger are situations beyond our control. What is fear? It is beyond our control. Dis disabling negative emotions, if not control, can result in physical embolization, emotional or mental impairments and disorders. It creates disorders, my friends. It's very dangerous. Fear is danger. What is the origin of fear? The Bible clearly says the origin of fear is sin. When Adam and Eve sinned, fear entered into their hearts. They hid themselves and they said, we are hiding behind the tree. The Lord said, why are you hiding? Because they sinned. Sin opened door for fear. Sin opened door for fear. Why do you continue to live in fear? Because of the sin. We need to bring the sin to the cross and say, Lord, forgive me. When, we, when you receive the forgiveness of God, you rejoice. Courage means having control over fear. Reclaiming peace and staying calm when your world is flooded with negative and toxic thoughts crippling circumstances and situations. Come back to God. There is forgiveness in the Lord Jesus Christ. When you come to God, you can chase out the fear. Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear, for nor be afraid of them. For the Lord your God, he is the one who goes with you. He will not leave you, nor forsake you. My friends, let me tell you, he will not leave you now forsake you. When you trust in him, courage gushes out from you like a river and you raise up as a banner of disciple to enjoy the peace of God. I'm not simply saying for the sake of preaching. I experienced it. When I had fearful situations, I allowed the word of God. That word of God survived me and sustained me. When the whole world left me alone, even known people not able to talk, lonely and frustrated, all alone seven years I was in this kind of lonely battle. There is nobody to help. But you know, God amazingly raised me up again because courage comes from God. Fight, attack. You don't need to run away. Fight and flight. Sometimes you need to run away. Sometimes you need to fight. Eliza ran away from Jezebel. And he rested at the peace of God and God restored him. Sometimes you need to conciliation with the fear. How to deal? My time is up. I'm closing within two, three minutes. You need to fight sometimes. You need to flight sometimes. You need to reconciliation. Adjust yourself how to tackle with this fear. God understands our fertility, my friends. God understands because he's sovereign. God's strategy for helping us to overcome the power of fear is God understands our fallity and God gives peace to pursue a purpose and God releases power to produce passion. God releases that power. Throughout God's word, he says, fear not, fear not. Do not be afraid. Fear hinders faith. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. So embrace God's love. Come back to God. Hug God and come back to God. That is the antidote. Stay put in the word. The word works. If nothing works, 
the word of God works. Let me tell you again. Remember, Jesus countered Satan, satanic forces and force of the darkness, satanic lies and temptations with the truth of God's word. You know, Jesus also encountered the devil. How do we encounter fear today in this corona context? With God's word. Stay. Put in the word. The word works. If nothing works, the word of God works. God bless you. Let's close our eyes and pray to God because I have another meeting schedule and the people are joining. I need to close. Let's all of us close our minds. Close our eyes. Let's have peace of God. Kuddi nimshalu mano maunanga Prabhu sannidilo mano manasulni Prabhu kapaginchi Let's focus on God. Bhayamo andolanani baitiki praradroli prashanta vadhananto with a kind of peaceful environment we need to come to God. And the Lord will bless us. He encourages us. And God is so real. He comes on our behalf of to help us. Can I request Sunilana? Can you close with the word of prayer? Shall I shall I in Telugu? Yeah, yeah, no problem. Kupamaida, Saranotra, Gopayava, Marcosarin is an issue. Ninostuin Shanaki, Kunaranki, Ara in Shanaki, Yoka, Samilo Prova, Magishna, Okashanga, and Stuistun Tran, Patekinga Prova, Marifia, Majuta, Lukova, Yuzanga, Untundi, Yazang influence Yusundi, Prova than the work of Yuzanga Kaochu, Prova and the Wakan, may Asian Shapur, Yokosan, Asian Shapur, Malavana Samasta, and Aka Prova, fear the memo, Duram Jeskun Prova Nilo, Anna in Shanaki. Nixtan Telskon in Nixta and Mepava, Nixtan Saranga in Locomlo, Jivin Shanikin in the Maham Pachaniki, Ezanga Provani, Waka Masai, Jusun the Prova, Marika Sari made a matter of Mata and the Prova and Stuyus and Tran, Prova Marika, Achena and the Kurami, Divinci, Asin Chen, the Kukarni, Asin Chen Prova, Nixtanki Prova, Lobar Navari, Prova Nika Sanin Asinchi, Nika Provana, Rekal Chartna, Chaka Provana, and Nanhala Locomlo in the Pierce Maku Nana. Salon Jesha Priki Pravam Miru Makunarana Dharim to Memo, Ilogam Login Shanki Pravani Sakshang or Nagi, Italian Prava, Yoete Pravana, fearful on to Naravani Prava Nika, Adana Tiranki Pavani Karakshan Swatra and Shanki, Mamakukani, Sadan Laga Upoinch Kumani, or in the Haku, Ovapa, Agapa, Bakan, Anishna, Southern Pravani, Asinch, Tana Kuruman, Tana Kasangani, Mendiga Divinch Asinch Bani, Tiriki, Margosarni Sanitary Sunch Matuku. Mandar Midaya Salas or Pinch Kuntu, Ace Namana Sudinchi, Pradis Namutan Ri. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, friends. I think I need to close immediately. Thank you. Have a blessed day. God bless you.